Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Denisha Lachelle and I'm back with another video, y'all. This word is amazing that I'm about to release for y'all today. But before we get into that, you know, we got to pray and let God in and God this word. Hallelujah. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to thank you for bringing this person off to the opposite side of the screen to this video, Lord. I pray that we all of you and none of me, God. I pray that this word does not fall on deaf ears. I pray that no wickedness, no evilness stop this video. I plead the blood of Jesus over this. And I pray that um, whoever have spiritual ears to hear, let them hear, God. Let this word be a blessing and fall on their hearts and release a good fruit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen again. So Proverbs um, chapter 24, verse 16 is, I can't talk today, but... um. Chapter 21st. What's going on? I can't talk. Lord help me. Chapter 24, verse 16. For though the righteous fall seven times, though they rise again, but the wicked stumble when commodity strikes. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again, but the wicked stumble when commodity strikes. So um when i wrote this word down i was in um i was on a fast around this time but i didn't put this word out just yet i was letting god work on it work on me so it's called a second time hallelujah when you are in christ and you just now learning you just now learning to walk like a baby they just they crawl and then they walk it it's the same thing you're gonna fall you're gonna stumble you're gonna fall short to god's glory we all fall short to god's glory hallelujah but we have redemption in the blood of jesus christ so it's the second time it's okay if you don't get it the first time because god knows the future this is why we have test sometimes we don't know it's the test but he knows he knows the outcome you don't it's a learning lesson hallelujah it's like god will test you and you wouldn't know that it's a test, so it's a learning experience. So you'd be like, dang, I messed up. And God sent that test to you so you can learn. He's pruning you. He's molding you so you can get back up and do the works for his kingdom. Hallelujah. Don't debate with yourself, God, or the devil on what is right when you already know. Why do you try to compromise with the sin that's killing you with a person that doesn't show no fruit two people that's together cannot be unequally yoked you have to be yoked together that goes for friendship not just relationship but friendships as well if you are studying you are in your bible you should be connected to like-minded people and it's okay to not have nobody in your circle it's okay to be separated because sometimes you will have to go through a season of isolation through in a season of being by yourself until god sends you somebody because we know what god sends nobody could change it nobody can move it nobody can pluck it out your hand hallelujah and if you don't know, read the Bible. Ask God in prayer. Pray for what is right and what's wrong. If you don't understand King James Version, New International Version, MSG, Amplified Bible, New Living Translation. Get into the Word. Connect with the pastor. Connect with somebody that's in a higher praise. Hallelujah. God will guide you to the right person to the right people hallelujah god is such a gentleman he lets you be you he lets you be you and still waits on you to come back from the club come back from sin from being um with anxiety and thinking about it the whole night to that whole morning just to take you back fall flat on your face and repent repentance is key I always pray god i pray that you forgive me for my sins knowing and unknown because there's some sins that we don't even know what we do all wrongdoing is sin but there is sin that does not that is not counted as punishment hallelujah god gives so many chances to the point it's on you to decide Am I going to keep disappointing God? 
the God who loves me and has my best interest at heart, or am I going to change? Am I going to go through this short pruning stage to have heaven on earth, or am I going to stay stuck and stagnant and sin? Hallelujah. And don't take God for granted, y'all. Don't think you can sin all you want and he will take you back. Remember, God judges your heart. Is your heart really for him? Hallelujah. God judges the heart. He looks within a person. You cannot just keep sinning and knowing that it's wrong and expect God to take you back. Because sin leads to death. And you are delayed obedience is still disobedience. You have to be obedient to God. Because you don't know what blessing he has for you. That's why when you fall, get up. If your heart is in the right place, you already won. So that's my word of encouragement, y'all. I pray this word bless y'all. I know it's a little funky in the beginning. I couldn't get my words out, but God flowed through. Hallelujah. So I pray that y'all like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And all the information is in the description box below to get in contact with me. I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.